Oh yeah, it's been a little while, man. I shouldn't have left you without a dope beat to step to. This beat is trash for that, but y'all know it's not trash. Jam stars, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. And I'm not, I might not be the freshest from the barbershop, but ooh, I'm fresh from the twist a lot. Look at that thing, that boy. Breeze and hook me up. I say Breezy then hook me up. Uh -uh. Breezy to hook me up, man. Breezy in the background holding the chat down. Y'all already know what time it is, man. Look, man. I can't lie to y'all, man. I'm feeling a little. Now, let me give y'all a little background on what's been going on with me. Y'all know that I work IT. And y'all, and we're gonna get to the we're gonna get to the, the topic of the video in a second. But look, this is the coolest man on NBA 2K, Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Motherfucking Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, coming to you live. I gotta figure out a way to get myself a better mic arm so I can be like the streamers and have it like coming across or coming across here so it can be like right in my face so y'all can hear the sultry tones of my voice without me having to lean up. Or maybe I just need to change the capture distance or whatever. I ain't worried about all that. We gonna figure that out. But where I, where have I been for the last couple of weeks? I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. I have been working with subpar equipment for probably the last five years. And this is the first time, well, actually the last 10 years, I'm not gonna lie. Every time I built a new PC, I always built the budget PC, but I built a budget PC with with the mindset of I can make anything work. Like I can, I can just make it work because that's just who I am. I can, I, I know enough about computers. I don't, I don't like, I'm a car. Like if, let's, let's put it in perspective of cars. I'm a regular mechanic. So I'm a PC, I, I work on PCs, I do IT. I'm a, I'm a, a jack of all trades mechanic when it comes to PCs. But you got some people like my guy, um, Rockin' uh, Chop, Rockin', Rockin' Chop, and he's, he works on hot rods. So a, a normal mechanic can work on any PC, even a, even, you know, even, a, even a hot rod. He can work on any car, even a hot rod, but he would have to go to the hot rod expert to find out what all, all parts to get and stuff. So that's what I've been having to do, man. This time, instead of just making something that I felt like was just good enough, I went to the experts, like my homeboy Rampage, I went to my homeboy um, Chris Lightning, uh, Stretch, all them guys, Bird Boy, all them. I went to them and um, you know, I built myself a computer that I feel like can, can probably push it for the next 10 years. Y'all wanna know what I got? I um I just I came out of pocket the whole way. I bought an AMD 3950, that's the fastest regular processor that they have, not the thread ripper, but I just got the 3950. I bought the 3950, I added the uh the 570 motherboard, I got a 2060 super um graphics card with it. 16 gigs of RAM, obviously. I'm probably gonna go up to 32 just because. I haven't seen anything that has pushed me past the 16 though, so like, that's why I'm like, I don't even know if I'm gonna do that. But, hey, it is what it is. Anything's a possibility, anything's possible. But yeah, I, I had to do that because um, I was pressing some shirts and all y'all shirts, I'm, I'm getting ready to get, rid of, get those done today. And if y'all order a shirt from the site, man, please give me like two weeks to get it because like y'all know with everything going on, I can't just walk into the place anymore. And so because of that, I have to order the shirts, wait for them to get here. And then I have to get the material, create what create what y'all want, press it, and then send it out. And then you know it's gonna be a little while before that. So just give me two weeks on getting those out. And uh, you know, I promise you'll be happy. You know, I don't think anybody that's ever got anything from me has ever been dissatisfied, but it just takes a little longer now. I used to just be able to order something, go to the place, pick it up, but because of everything that's going on, I have to order now, and it sucks. But you know, it's, it's trying times. But speaking of everything, man, I, I I built this computer because I asked LJ to grab my cell phone. He grabbed my phone, but he saw that I had a hard drive outside my computer, and he decided that he wanted to help daddy out, put it inside the computer, laid it on the back of the graphics card, and the back of my graphics card was not shielded. Now, the one that I got now is shielded, but I got a fine book. I got, uh, like um, tempered glass on the outside of the computer now, so that doesn't even matter. It wasn't shielded. Whatever he did, he laid it in there. It zapped, uh, it zapped the graphics card. So I just took that as an opportunity to build myself a whole new computer, and it's awesome. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This thing is eating like right, like when I used to do this stuff right here. 
right now I'm using 1% CPU usage to do what I'm doing. And I'm at 49 degrees. Well, I used to have, a, um, I had the, uh, the, uh, the 8350, which they lied about and said it was way more powerful than it actually was. They said, it's the most powerful thing on the market right now. And, and it wasn't. And they did this lie. That's why we got a class action lawsuit against them. I did collect on that, by the way, Bridges. I just checked my email. But um, anyway, uh, all that, all that. Look, no, 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 no. We don't want to hear you mixtape, bro. Um, like I said, I, I, I'm saying all that to say this. This is the first time that I actually have full power doing this. As you can see, this video is in 1080p 60, and it's beautiful. And you're going to be able to see all of that in a second. So I got that. I can stream any game I want to, so we can stream some games. We can stream Grand Theft Auto 1080 60. We can stream any game I want to play. Like right now, I'm at like 1% CPU usage. This is, this is insane. I haven't been at this ever. Even with that 8350, when I first bought it, I would be at like 17 to 30% CPU usage just recording videos. No video, just like this, I'm at 30%. And so, you know, and it shouldn't have been like that because my boy Stretch, he says he, he has a, a 4790K. And I know it is going over a lot of people's head, but, you know, he got a 4790K. And it's just like, he's still at 1% streaming. So, you know, it is what it is. So, I'm saying all that to say this. If you have to get a new computer, uh, yeah, and that joint cost me about two grand, too. I'm not even going to lie. If you, but but it's, go, it's worth it because this is what I do. Um, if you're going to buy a new computer, man, just go ahead and buy, bite the bullet or wait until you can buy the stuff do you know wait just spend a hundred dollars on parts a week or something like that you know what i'm saying and just wait until you can do it because if you can't do it right uh it, it's just no point in doing it you're just gonna piss yourself off and then you're gonna be struggling for the next five years and then it's just gonna be like that but as it stands right now i should be able to do this forever i mean if you know for the next 10 years or so next five at least and all i have to do is upgrade my graphics card put some more ram in there and i'm gonna be good y'all got any questions about anything man let me know down in the comment section but anyway let's get to the topic of the video i know i rambled on about that for seven minutes and i am sorry but it's good to be back i feel good right now i know y'all just like hearing my voice anyway Hope you guys out there staying safe. Hope you guys are out there. Uh, I hope everybody still get being able to go to work. And if you're not, I hope you I hope you're able to to get your uh, unemployment and all that stuff right there. I'm fortunate enough to work for an essential um, essential entity, which is real estate, and I do IT for real estate. So I'm essential, but I don't have to go out there. Beautiful combination, glorious thing, and I'm glad that I'm just that fortunate uh, to be able to do that. And I hope that you guys are as well. And if you're furloughed, if you're off and you're getting unemployment, Godspeed to you. Play this game. Hit legend for your boy. But anyway, let's get into the video, man. The way, speaking of wages, and that's the wager culture in this game. Let's just talk about it. I just want to ask y'all, what do you guys think about it? With everything that's going on, let's, disclaimer, I know that the streamers and the people that participate in these wages and things like that, I know 100% that they're making more than than what they're putting in. They do a $200 wage, you get a thousand viewers on Twitch, and um, you know you're gonna get mad donations, all that stuff. You're gonna get all of that, so you get everything that comes with the wage, right? When you get those donations and all that, it normally equals more than the wage. You're gonna get tons of subs. And then you, the, the most important thing is you're going to get the recurring people coming to your stream. I get it. I know that they're covering more than what they're spending. And uh, in this video, y'all already see I'm playing with Brutal Sim on the scene, Wicked and me with a next video for y'all. Got my boy Shakedown 2012, Spec Ops, um, Ninja. Ninja was trolling me all day, man. And, uh, you know, this, this is on the files a couple of weeks ago, man. I feel like they should bring back the fives. If y'all think they should bring back the fives like every week, like Sunday fives or something like that, let me know down in the comments. I think that they should do this every week and just be like a Sunday. You know, because that's what we did on Sundays. We went to the park and we played basketball all day long. And then you come back home and get ready to go to school the next day, man. That's how it went. But, um, you know, like I said, like with all that going on, I, I fully understand that they make way more off the wager than they put in. Ticino does a thousand dollar wage and he gets 10,000 views. And, uh, you know, uh, on Twitch, he's going to get mad ad, ad revenue. And while he's getting that mad ad revenue, trades up, green bean, money team, splash down. While he's getting that ad revenue, guess what? That's that's going to equal well over $1,000. I can assure you that. And if he runs ads, he probably got sponsors and all this stuff. Then he puts up the video. So I get that. But my cheapness 
And my, 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 my I, it just won't allow me to do it. I don't know if I was making that much money off of it, if I would even still do it. Like, obviously, it's a no-brainer as a business decision, I, know, I, I guess. But I would have to be guaranteed to make this much money and make this money back. Because if I'm not guaranteed to make the money back, I, I, I just couldn't do it. And that's where we go to the people because there are losers in everything. And you risk losing. Tassino is somebody of his cal caliber rat. Guys like that, uh, G. Sice, all those guys, they can't lose because they're going to get the views. What about the guys that run? Azuli, uh, you know, he can't lose because he's going to get the money back. But there are a lot of guys that aren't, that are trying to come up off the wager scene. These are the guys that we want to talk about. They're trying to come up off the wager scene by beating Tassino, by beating Rat, by beating Zuli, by beating um you know all these guys iggy mo all these guys they want to come up off of beating these guys and get a name for themselves on the way uh, in the 2k community and then you know what about when they lose when they lose obviously it's already over for them because you got to pay you didn't make any money because nobody's really gonna see your video because you don't get taken seriously until you get till you win about two or three wages against big names anyway and it costs big money to get into those big money games it's just like a uh, white man can't jump it take big money, man, to get into big money games. You got to have the big money. And if you ain't got it, then you're going to end up like the guy who, with Ticino who, who gave him the money, played him, he lost, and then he charged back. And like like stuff like that, you know, it, it is what it is. Or even like Nate, you're going to end up like Nate where you're going to you go in, lose the game, or, or win the game, and then, you know, well, well when you lose the game, you're going to be real salty, be mad about it. And, and all that, and like I said, I'm 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 with the nade camp. I'm, I know how I am. I know I'm gonna be pissed off, even if I would make the money back. I don't want to lose. No, I don't want to lose no money. And so it's just like I I don't know if I would do it because this is the thing. If you're going to really benefit from it, or if you're in the position where you can't lose and you're just doing it for the entertainment of your fans, you're already up there. You don't need the money. Obviously, you don't need a thousand dollars. You tie casino like he make that in a stream probably but the people who are trying to come up they actually need the money so they shouldn't be gambling in the first place and then you already know what happened when they said you know when they try to gamble and and then they don't win rent it back or charge it back that's how it's gonna go now we only talk about like obviously the first thing that comes to mind is people talking about Tysino and all those guys because those are the guys that are in the at the forefront of it but you got tons of little guys behind the scene gambling, playing, you know, playing each other, gambling, gambling, gambling. They're booting each other when they start losing or when they lose the game. They don't pay when they are, uh, you know, when they lose or they're gonna try to charge it back. And then, you know, or they just, or you know, I, I, I don't get it, man. I just don't get it. It's like why, if you're in a, like I said, my, my biggest thing is if you're in a position to win, then. If you're in the win-win position, you don't need to do it. You're really just doing it for the fans. And we appreciate it because I'm in there watching it every time. But if you're in a position where you're trying to come up, can you really afford to do it? And I think the answer is just no. The benefit, unless you know you stone cold got a lock and and, and, I, and no pun intended because the only way you really know that you're going to really win one of these is get a lock and a post score. And I'm talking about a 6-8 lock or something like that. And the trades up, green bean money team, splash down. And I'm talking about like a 6-8 lock and a post score, and you're just gonna have to cheese your way. And we're gonna talk about the cheese and all that, the cheese and culture next, because that's something that I, my God. Bro, the cheese and culture, the gist of it is, we don't got no gatekeepers in 2K, and it's okay to cheese, because the people at the quote unquote highest level, cheese, you got people come in, why don't, why don't you play stage? Why don't you play comp, do you play stage? Why don't you play comp stage? You play comp stage, why don't you play the 5K? You play the 5K, why don't you play the 10K? Don't you know that every level that you go up, they just cheese more, and because the people at the top cheese so much, it's looked at as okay. It's not frowned upon to cheese, and because it's not frowned upon to cheese, people think that that's how you're supposed to play the game, blah, blah. Anyway, we're going to get into that later on. But like I said, the people that that can most afford to do the bets, cash nasties and all those, they don't need the money. They're literally doing it because they know they get a huge boost in, in, in revenue, and they get, a, they get a huge boost in viewage and all that stuff. But the people that can't afford to do it, that's trying to come up, they can't afford to do it anyway. Like, I'm just thinking, if you're a regular guy on the street working a nine to five, I know you might make good money, but bro, I ain't got a thousand dollars just to throw away. I got it, obviously I got it, because I bought this computer at the same day my little boy fried it, 
Like I went and I, I went and dropped two grand on the computer. So I have money, but I don't got money to gamble and I might get something or I might double up. Is it just the thrill? Y'all tell me down in the comment section. Is it just the thrill or is it just whatever? Because my thing is this. I will always spend money if it's something that I'm going to use, especially electronics, because you're going to use those for an indefinite amount of time. So I've never had problems spending money on electronics or spending money on something that I'm going to use, cell phone, um, shoot, supplements. I'm going to get good stuff out of that. Eye drops and stuff. Look, I even bought this so I could go run. This is just a running belt you put it on. It's a glorified fanny pack. Jay-Z from the corner. Trays up. Green Bean Money Team Splash Time. You're supposed to put it on like this. I do it like this. I put it on backwards. If I'm going to use something, I don't have any problems spending money on it. But that's a guarantee. I have problems with putting money. Oh, Brute with the steel. Right. I just have problems with putting money on something that's not a sure thing. And I may not get anything at all from it. Like, I get it. So in that respect, I'm saying, Tysino and those guys, yes, they're going to get something out of it, uh, guaranteed. Woo, good shooting, Tex. <laughs> but they're going to get something out of it, guaranteed. So I understand why they do it, but the people that are wagering them, you may not get anything. You may, like, sometimes Tysino said, go over there, tell those guys, GG. Maybe you do get a boost in viewage. Maybe you do get more viewers and stuff like that. But most of the time, those guys aren't getting anything but an ass whooping and and they and they are in a lighter pockets. And I just don't get I don't get I don't, I don't get it, man. But y'all let me know, man. Is the risk worth the reward? The guys, Rat Tysino, all those people, they're not taking any risk. G Sice, they're not taking no risk. Zuli, he's not taking the risk. There's no risk for them because they're getting some guarantee. And in that respect, I would definitely gamble. And do y'all think these numbers are inflated when they gamble each other? Like when G Sice plays against like um Zuli. Do y'all think it's really a hundred dollars or like fifty dollars and they put up there, we're gonna say it's a thousand? Or do y'all think that they really gambling a, a grand? Like I know that they can afford to do it. Sometimes uh people like I like I know one time, uh Philly Brown, uh they used to play for the Eagles or what have you. He was a wide receiver, what have you. And he came in, and he played for the Carolina Panthers too. But uh he came in and um and he, and he sponsored the bet, so he was like, he was like, yeah, I'm gonna sponsor the bet, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, you know, I like, I'll pay, pay for whoever. So it was just like a pot. I would do something like that. Oh, he played for the Carolina Panthers, the Denver Broncos, and uh, the Buffalo Bills. I'm sorry, but uh, anyway, like I said, I would do something like that where, like, if y'all wanted to have a little tournament, I would sponsor a tournament and be like, hey, this is a hundred dollar, thank you guys, tournament. You know, let's let's do that like that. I would do that. But I don't think, but that's not a gamble for me because I'm giving something to you guys. I don't stand to lose anything because I know that I'm going to lose something because I'm just going to, I'm giving back to the community. But I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Is it, is the risk worth the reward? Is the risk worth it for the guys that actually have something to lose and nothing to gain? Or do you think that like, cause like I said, Tysino, they don't have nothing to lose. They're going to make the money back off the video. They're going to make three times whatever they gamble on the video. They're going to make that back. But the other guys, you might win the wager and then your, your YouTube still don't get no views. And you still don't get that. But hey, at least you're $1,000 richer, $100 richer, $200. And that's why I respect Tysino too. He play anybody for any amount of money. You can tell Tysino, Tysino, I want to bet you for a dollar right now. Tysino going to take that bet, man. Maybe, maybe 50, something like that. And then he's just going to split it up amongst the people that win. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I think that for the guys that are on top, they don't need to do it, but they do it just because they know it pulls views. And for the people that are trying to come up off it, I just don't think it's worth it. I don't see the upside, man. But if y'all see the upside, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Are they playing for this amount of money that they're saying? How did the stream look? How does my voice sound? All that good stuff. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God, speed! You got me fucked up. You think I'm gambling my hard on money away. Do you know what Bridget would tell me? Did you win? Yes. What if you would have lost, Jay? What if you would have lost? That's the only thing she's gonna be like. And I'd be like, well, I just made the money back off the video. Then she would chill. But if I can't guarantee that I would have gained either way, nah, she ain't going for it. And I don't think a lot. I, I got a lot of grown men in my chat, so I think y'all gonna agree with me on that. But, you know, it is what it is. But I'm out. Peace.